Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cross Patching. Now today, I want to look at a really awesome complex oscillator already in VCV, so you don't have to build anything. What you're seeing here on screen is just the pulsar to set stuff in motion, um, a random module, which is the one from NISG that is resembling the source of uncertainty or the random source of the Buchla music easel, one voltage processor, the leakage, an LPG, and my dual envelope generator that is a little function generator from NISG. So the CSL from Instru is an absolutely incredible module that we got for free. It is available in hardware, but it is quite expensive because it is very powerful. But let's have a look at it. So what kind of outputs do we have? We have a sine output, we have a triangle output, we have a saw wave output, we have a final output. This is just for this one oscillator. Now for the second oscillator we also have a sine output, we have a square output, we have a triangle output, and we have this weird bit crushed sine wave output. And then we have a multiply out. And I'll get to that a little later. But you can listen to them all. They sound like your standard oscillators in that regard. That's the sine. Triangle. So the final is actually a wave folder. The final is actually a wave folder. Here's the square because the triangle sounds the same. Sign again. And then here is this bit crushed version of a sine wave. And the final here also is working with a wave folder. Now, what's awesome is that you have. FM inputs for both oscillators and you can switch between linear and exponential by just clicking this. But for those of you who are a little more familiar with complex oscillators, there needs to be a sort of routing relationship, right? One oscillator should influence the other in some regard. And on the hardware module, this is done by pressing this button and pressing one of like those buttons here, which is a little strange and I quite frankly don't really understand it. I've watched the video. I don't have the hardware module, but um, this is how you do certain routings for one oscillator to control another. But the great thing is VCV is digital. So all you need to do is right click and you have oscillator B to oscillator A and oscillator A to oscillator B. So you can have FM wavefold and the symmetry of the wavefold. So let's use the wavefold. We have our modulation index here and let's use the multiply this time. And then the multiply you have this button here that says ring modulation, amplitude modulation, and rectifying. And you can see by the colors what is being used. So gray is ring, white is amplitude, and yellow is rectangle. Let's use amplitude modulation. And now we 
can also play around with the index. Let's add some symmetry in there. Use the final output. So as you can see, the CSL is a very powerful complex oscillator that does need some time to be understood. But I hope this was a nice introduction. It does eat a lot of CPU, but the sound is well worth it. Thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!